Nigerian Army set up committee to investigate allegations of collusion. Former National Security Advisor, Swiss Department of State Services, DSS. Human Rights Coalition's report indicts politicians on herdsmen farmers' crisis in Nigeria. These are many more stories in a moment. Welcome to the AM News on Television Nigerian. I am Paula Achiche. The Nigerian Army has set up a committee to investigate allegations made against it by former Chief of Army Staff Theophilus Danjuma. The 10 man committee was inaugurated on Monday at the Defense Headquarters in Abuja. TVN's Austin Peacemaker Naide completes the report. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukubrata, has inaugurated a 10 man committee to investigate allegations made against the Nigerian Army by the former Chief of Army Staff, General Tuvilos Danjuma, and others. The Chief of Army Staff, while inaugurating the panel at the Army headquarters in Abuja, stated that the allegations could damage the reputation of the armed forces. He added that such allegations cannot be ignored if the Nigerian Army is to continue to earn the trust and respect of the people. Against this backdrop, the Army boss stated that it is imperative to set up the Tema panel to confirm the veracity or otherwise of the allegations. Most recently, on the 24th of March 2018, a former Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant <coughs> General T.Y. Danjuma, retired, speaking during the convocation ceremony of the Taraba State University, alleged that the armed forces of Nigeria collude with the armed bandits and other criminal elements in the society. Statements of this nature could damage the reputation of the armed forces of Nigeria and thus cannot be ignored if the Nigerian army is to continue to earn the trust and respect of, Nigerian, of the Nigerian populace. Thus, it became imperative for the Nigerian army to set up this panel to confirm the veracity or otherwise of these allegations. Members of the investigative committee were carefully selected based on proven record of integrity. They were also enjoined to visit all flashpoints and interact with various stakeholders and interest groups in Taraba State in order to come up with a comprehensive report. In this remark, the chairman of the committee, Joseph Nimie, a retired major general, thanked the chief of army staff and promised to be objective in their works and findings. We have gone through the terms of reference and they are very clear. And by the grace of God, with the time given, we are going to try our best to make sure that we present to you a very, very acceptable report at the end of it, which shall be of benefit to the Nigerian army and to the nation at large. Over the years, the Nigerian army has conducted operations in line with its constitutional responsibility of defending the territorial integrity of Nigeria and providing aid to civil authority. It is hoped that the move by the Chief of Army Staff will not only calm frayed nerves, but will foster peaceful coexistence across the country. Austin Peacemaker in Ida, TVN News. The embattled former National Security Advisor, Colonel Sambo Dasuki, retired, has filed a fresh fundamental human rights enforcement suit against the Department of State Services before the Federal High Court in Abuja demanding for his unconditional release. Dasuki, who has been detained by the DSI since December 29, 2015, is also demanding 5 billion naira as general damages and compensation for the alleged violation of his rights. In the suit, the ex-NSA is asking the court to order three respondents to the suit, including the Director General of the Department of State Security Service, DSS, the DSS itself, and the Attorney General of the Federation to send a public apology to him in two widely published newspapers for the violation of his right as enshrined under the relevant sections of the 1999 Constitution 
of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended. The suit has been assigned to Justice Ahmed Mohamed of the Abuja Division of the Federal High Court, but no date has been fixed for its hearing. After the break, Human Rights Coalition's report indicts politicians on Hesman farmers crisis in Nigeria. For almost a decade, the Nigerian army have given their all to ensure that our dear country is not overrun by Boko Haram insurgents. Some have in the process paid the ultimate price, while many will forever live with indelible scars occasioned by their determination to protect the country, no matter the hurdle. Despite these, they have remained resolute and undaunted, and today, all territories the insurgents one took control of have been recaptured and normalcy restored. And now, for the first time in a long time, the end of Boko Haram is foreseeable. Therefore, the wisest thing for the remaining insurgents to do is to surrender today or face total destruction from the army. Remember, the Nigerian army will stop at nothing to ensure that total peace is restored in all parts of the country. So, be wise and embrace peace today or get ready to be ruthlessly dealt with. This message is brought to you by the Coalition on Conflict Resolution and Human Rights in Nigeria. Welcome to Living Treasures Academy. Enjoy a conducive and serene learning environment. Qualified and experienced teachers. Equipped computer laboratory and library. Secured atmosphere. Extracurricular activities. An all embracing curriculum for total development of the child. Comprehensive education for leadership. Join us today from crash to secondary levels. Leaving Treasures Academy. Committed to excellence. <laughs> Thanks for staying tuned. The Coalition on Conflict Resolution and Human Rights in Nigeria has released a complete review of incidents of farmers' Hesman crisis in Nigeria, while commending the neutral conduct of the Nigerian army as patriotic and professional. Speaking in Abuja on Monday, the Coalition stated that it has tackled violence-related Hesman farmers' clashes across Nigeria and is of the opinion that the crisis was left to escalate because governors of some of the affected states played politics with the crisis situation, which has led to it escalating in the states. Our findings revealed that only criminal elements and their agents in power who knows the ambition of using the military for personal duties and we are above no such con conspiracy theories in the reasoning. This is not only worrisome, but must be discarded to avoid returning to the military to its old nature, where some highly placed citizens could press the trigger of their homes. It further noted that some politicians exploit the crisis situations for their financial and political gains, while the people are left at the receiving ends and urging genuine stakeholders to work together for the peace and unity of the country. And on spot, Team Nigeria has picked the table tennis silver medal at the ongoing Commonwealth Games at the Gold Coast, Australia, after losing 3 to India at the finals of the men's table tennis competition on Monday. The silver medal is an improvement of the Nigerian contingent over their last outing at the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, Coastland, where they won the bronze medal at the competition. The Nigerians made a hopeful at the competition, Haruna Kadri, who also holds the title of Africans number two man in table tennis, was missing in action as he was on the bench during the encounter due to fitness issues. And on the foreign scene, opposition politicians and some citizens have criticized President Joko Widodo of Indonesia on Monday 
for riding a highly modified motorcycle through the town of Sakombumi alongside several cabinet ministers. Deputy Parliament Speaker Fadli Zone, who is also a strong opposition politician, referred to the move as nothing more than a political stunt designed to gain cheap popularity, stating that creating jobs and a better life for the people are far more effective than visible symbols like motorbikes. Sporting a denim jacket, a half-face helmet, and a pair of van sneakers, the 56-year-old president, who is seeking re-election in 2019, rode his golden chopper to the town of Sakomumi on Sunday in what critics refer to as attempt to appeal the younger voters. To end the news, a recap of the headlines. Nigerian Army set up committee to investigate allegations of collision in insurgency. Former National Security Advisor sues Department of State Services, DSS. Human Rights Coalition's report indicts politicians on Hesman farmers' crisis in Nigeria. That's the AM News at this time on Television Nigerian. Remember, do all the good you can, but make as little fuse about it as possible. I am Paula Achiche. Have yourself a pleasant day.